Just a short video about this universal flash and EEPROM programmer called EZP2010. It was mostly sold with only 32-bit drivers. However, it is possible to flash the firmware to a new revision, which is able to handle 64-bit systems, including Windows 7 64-bit. Most information I could find about this topic was in Russian, so I tried to translate it somewhat to English. I guess that's a bit more understandable than the Google Translate. First of all, you need a Windows XP machine or virtual machine. So you can't just flash the firmware with Windows 7 or something like this. You have to own Windows XP. No other way as far as I can tell. Connect the device to your Windows XP box. Install the old driver, uh, version 2.0 or something like this. And start the newer 3.0 software. There go to update and choose the, the binary firmware update file that was provided with the 3.0 package. After this it should say that it's okay. If it does not work on the first try or you get problems in the following process, just flash again. Here I needed two tries until it actually loaded the new firmware. In the first try it said everything was okay and showed the correct version but it didn't really load. If that's done, you can change the driver to the newer one. The old version is listed as EZP2010 with its own category. Newer versions are listed as, uh, I guess, USB host controller, it's called in English. And using this driver, you should be able to use the new software. If something like no programmer detected uh, appears, just try to flash it again as said. Maybe you need a few tries. If the program is detected in the software with a newer driver, you can switch to Windows 7 and just use the 64-bit version of the 3.0 driver. After that, you should be able to use the software like the old version with Windows XP and I couldn't find any problems or crashes so far, so it seems to work pretty stable.